If you've ever wished for a quick, fun way to sketch out drum grooves without getting bogged down in menus, GarageBand's Beat Sequencer might be exactly what you're looking for. You'll find the Beat Sequencer tucked away in the drum section of the Sound Browser. Open up and you'll be greeted with a blank pattern. From here it's as simple as tapping on steps to start sketching out a beat. Each roll represents a different part of your kit, so layering kicks, snares and hats into a solid beat takes a couple of seconds. Each roll also comes with its own mini track header. Pull it out and you can solo or mute individual rows, which makes auditioning parts and building arrangements really easy. By tapping on a rose instrument icon, you can swap sounds, change the step length, flip the playback direction to reverse, ping pong or random, or even randomise the entire row. At the bottom of the screen is the Pattern Browser. This is where you'll find dozens of ready-made grooves covering a wide range of styles, and you can also save your own custom creations to drop into other projects. The button in the bottom left lets you switch between drum kits. GarageBand comes with plenty of acoustic and electronic options and you can expand your library further with free downloads from the sound library. There's also a handy randomizer here if you want some instant inspiration and an info panel that gives you access to global pattern settings. Patterns can run up to 64 steps long and GarageBand's step windows make it easy to keep track of where you are in the sequence. Each row can be tweaked independently, so you could have your hi-hats bouncing back and forth in ping-pong mode while the snares randomly drop in and out. These pair row settings open up some seriously dynamic options. The advanced controls on the bottom right of the beat sequencer screen give you even more, well, control over your beat. With these controls active, pressing and holding on any of the steps in the beat sequencer will cause that step to expand, giving you more fine control over the parameter you're adjusting. Velocity control lets you shape dynamics. Note repeat allows for stuttered fills. and the chance parameter gives steps a probability of triggering, which is perfect for adding some human-like variation.
You can even trim the loop length of a roll for polyrhythmic patterns that evolve naturally as the sequence plays. GarageBand's beat sequencer may not look like much at first glance, but it's an incredibly versatile rhythm tool. If you haven't explored it yet, I'd highly recommend diving in and giving it a go yourself. It's brilliant. Let me know your thoughts on GarageBand's beat sequencer down in the comments, and give that like button a good hard slap while you're down there. I really appreciate it, and it helps more people see this video. And for more information on one of GarageBand for iOS's lesser known features, watch this video next.